Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica Violet and today I will be cleaning out my closet because I've come to the realization that I don't wear or like a lot of the shit I have so I need to get rid of it and I need to organize and I need to do my fucking laundry because I'm an adult and that's really hard for me. So hoping that while I film this experience, it will give me some motivation to actually follow through with completing everything I actually need to. So let's hop into it. I told myself I would film this on Monday and it is now Saturday, so I'm doing it now. I saw someone do like a closet clean out video and I just wanted to do that myself just because I keep hoarding and buying clothing and I'm not wearing any of it. So I'm just going to film myself doing this because it gives me some motivation to actually get it done. I have a clothing rack right here and then I also have a closet that's like on the other side of this camera. So I'm gonna do this first because I think this will probably be the easiest section because I just love dresses and it's a bit smaller than the other areas. This clothing rack, I believe, is from Walmart or Amazon. I think Amazon. I'm trying to transition to all these kind of velvet black hangers just because I think it looks more mature and I think it looks cuter than the classic white plastic hanger. But I ran out of these ones, so we have a few scragglers right here. But okay, so let's start at the beginning. Obviously, have to keep this because it's just a staple. I've worn this dress probably way too many fucking times. I'm gonna put everything that I want and I don't want on the bed just so I can like organize it. Okay. I actually just bought this. I got it on clearance at Old Navy for $20. So I need to wear this soon. I think I thrifted this about two years ago and I mean I like it but I'm just like not wearing black anymore. I don't know what's wrong with me but it also doesn't have pockets, so that's another huge downside, so I'll be giving this away. I bought this from, okay, this light is just fucking horrible. I bought this from like TJ Maxx or something like two years ago, and I don't think I've worn it. Maybe I've worn it once, but it's just an amazing color, and why does it not have pockets? I'm gonna keep it, and if I don't wear it this fall, then maybe in the spring I'll give it away. This is a jumpsuit from Shein. I think I've worn it like three or four times. Oh my fucking god. Stupid train. Uh, I think I'll keep it. I really liked wearing this during the spring. Like, I don't understand why the train has to honk for 15 minutes straight. Like, I think the first seven minutes were fine. This is a dress I was gifted by Honey Blowtorch. They're a small business and they make everything from recycled bandanas. And I was gifted this last year around like Thanksgiving. It's such a beautiful piece. And it's so nice, but like, to be honest, I never wear it. And it makes me feel bad for like wanting to sell it or give it away. But I mean, I'd rather give it to someone that would actually wear it. You know what I mean? This is a dress by ASOS. I love this. I got this on clearance as well, like last year. It's a zebra print, but green, keeping that. It actually has a, it came with a green slip dress. So love that as well. I've never worn this and I should. There's deodorant on it from when I tried it on. It's just this really cute green dress and it has pockets. See, it's not that hard to put pockets on things. I went mini viral on TikTok for buying this and talking about it. So I guess I should probably wear it, but it's just a boiler suit, green. Everything I own is green. I don't like this. Bye. Overalls I've worn once. I need to wear again. Now we have slip dresses. To be honest, I thrifted this and I've never worn it. I don't know why I thought I could fit into this. It's large. I mean, it's kind of stretchy. Could I? I think I could. I was thinking maybe I could use it as a layering piece. Let me try this on. It's cute, but it's just like way too sheer. Maybe if I wore like a black tank top under it, it would look cuter, but it does technically fit. I don't know, I'll have to think on this cow slip dress from Shein. I wore this on Halloween and I don't see myself ever wearing that again. Black slip dress. We gotta have it. Here is this cow neck slip dress I got from the Hobby collection. I did a video on it. It was her collab with Nasty Gal and I really like it to be honest. So I'm gonna sell it or give it away. Slip dress from Tunnel Vision. This is such a beautiful piece. Um, I've worn it once so far. I need to get more use out of it. I think I've had it for like two months. See, this is another one that's really breaking my fucking heart. So this is by another small business and it's called So Wasted. She's located in the UK and I paid a pretty fucking penny for this dress, okay? Like I'm talking 150, maybe even more. And like, I think it's beautiful. It's just not my style anymore. And whenever I do wear it, it's just very, it almost feels like a costume because it's such nice quality and it's big. I think I bought this in 
her extra extra large because I thought that's what I would be since I'm a US 18 and like how I convert from her sizes like her UK sizes but it's just like way too big and I only wear it when I have a belt on and I feel like it's definitely more of a fall piece so I think I've worn this probably a handful of times and probably should just sell it or give it to someone else that would wear this because I mean it's just collecting dust and someone deserves to have this. Next is this dress. I bought this from H&M about a year ago. Hmm. It's just like whatever. I'm just sick of, I'm sick of black right now and it's really odd for me to say but I think I'll keep it. I don't know. This is pending. Okay, I need to wear this as well. I got this from Shein this winter, I think. It's just a cutesy little cottage whore dress, so I need to wear this because it's cute and it goes with everything that I'm like wearing right now. Another H&M piece. I thought it'd be good to like wear as a dress around the house, but it's just, it's in an extra large and it fits more like on my body than I wanted. I don't know why I thought an extra large would be <laughs> um, oversized than me, but I'm gonna sell this or give it away or something. I don't want it. This I want, want, want. This velvet jumpsuit is by KS Gardner and it's beautiful, I love it. I bought it with part of my stimulus check because it is super expensive, but it's a small business and they're slow fashion. So I've worn this like, once or twice, I think just once, and I took a picture for Instagram in it, but it's just so fucking hot outside. So I think I'll probably get more use out of this once it cools down a bit. I have been worn this in probably almost three years, but I can't get myself to give it away or sell it. This is from a collab that Vans and Lazy Oaf did, I think like, oh my God, three or four years ago. And I just love it. It has pockets and so cute but i love it because it has this dog as a flower and i don't know it just reminds me of my dog and i just want it and i think it'd be really cute to like give to my future children so i'm gonna keep it i should probably like put it in keepsake or something but whatever i'll keep it hanging and then this is super cute it is this t-shirt dress by Change and it's a butterfly and it says, it's not the strongest of the species that survives nor the most intelligent. It is the one that's the most adaptable to change. I really like this, but I, f I think it's like an extra, like a large, extra large. So it doesn't fit like a t-shirt dress on me. To be honest, I should probably like just crop it so it's more of an actual shirt. So I'll wear it because I'm not wearing it as it is, but I know I would wear it if it was like a t-shirt. I need to DIY this. We'll hang her up here. So I'm putting back everything that I do want. I'm gonna do like slip dresses, midi dresses, long dresses, whatever. My boyfriend's oldest brother is actually getting married in a week or two, so this is what that dress is for. I'm super excited to wear it. I guess not that it really matters, but I just wanted to let you know. I picked this dress up today. It's from Walmart. Um, <laughs> It's on clearance for $13 and you know, it's just that perfect shade of mustard and orange and burnt yellow that I love. Obviously I had to get it. I mean, not that I have 17 dresses that look exactly like it. Right here, I actually have this sack of jewelry. I should probably really go through this as well. Let's just move you back in this corner. I believe this is from Amazon. It just, just has this, I don't know, thing with pockets, you know, this the best description I could give you. The site's really not that much. Um, I have some small little hoops. These are some silver pieces and the little bags. I should get rid of those. I should, I'm going to tell you where I got a lot of these pieces. So this lock is from Tunnel Vision. I got it like a a while ago so i'm not sure if they still have it but this is a really amazing piece especially for you edgelords um here's a bangle nothing you crazy 
I have a lot of jewelry now because I don't know if any of you guys know. I feel like maybe I've mentioned it a couple times, but I started a small jewelry business. So I've accumulated a lot of jewelry now. So I don't know. I just have too much shit for real. And then on um, this side is just a lot of silver shit, a lot of silver necklaces that I don't wear, to be honest. This needs to go. This is kind of old and ratchet. I think I got this from Dolls Kill probably like three or four years ago, but I haven't worn it in a while. And as you can see, like it's kind of turning gold or coppery, whatever. Uh um, It's just like, I don't know what to do with this old jewelry. Like, do I throw it away? I don't know if anyone will want to fucking buy it. <laughs> this is a necklace from iGirl. I haven't watched her in fucking forever, but it's her eye devil thing. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it. It's just, I have a lot of silver and I don't wear silver that much anymore so whatever i think i'm just gonna keep it out how it is but and then right here is just some miscellaneous belts i a lot of my belts are from shein this is from walmart just a regular belt this is another chain i believe this is from sh fucking dolls kill as well i no longer shop at dolls kill but if i have pieces from them i'm just gonna keep them like i don't see any purpose of me throwing it away but this is a fucking huge ass chain I used to wear this all the time. I was so edgy when I was in, well, in high school, I was pretty edgy. And then towards like my senior year of college, I started becoming edgy again. I don't know what happened, um, but yeah. And then I have this belt right here. That's also from Shein, cute piece. And then I have these miscellaneous tags from Post Malone concerts. They're just like neat and sweet things that I have hanging up here. But yeah, that's really it. I don't have an obscene amount of belts because I really don't wear belts because I don't ever fucking wear pants. And then actually while we're here, I need to like pick these up. So there's like a bottom rack that you can put things in. And I have these shoes that I've never worn out and they have dust on them. I thrifted them. They're from Christian Zerbino from Payless. They're $6. They're just little clogs. So I need to put these in my actual closet. So I'll wear them because they just get kind of hidden over here. Okay, I got distracted and I took a shower, but I didn't wash my hair. So that's why it looks disgusting. But here we are in this fucking closet. You can only see this, but there is a bunch of shit below. So I guess we'll tackle this area first. This is brand new. So we're gonna keep it. Keep, keep. This was sent to me by Loveful, actually. It's super, super cute. It's like, kind of like twisted and wrapped up in the front. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. It's pretty brand new. I think I'll probably be keeping majority of these things. I should probably bleach that. Hmm. I thrifted this like a year and a half, maybe two years ago. I have yet to wear it. I don't know if I like it. Cause it's like kind of boho, but I don't know if it's like grandma, but I haven't worn it. So I'll just keep it for a little bit longer. Why did I think I was gonna wear a sweater vest when everything was going on? Didn't wear that once. I am gonna give this away or sell it. This is, everyone was wearing these from Shein. It's just, I don't know. It just doesn't look right on me and I don't wear it because it's so short. Another love full piece that's super cute. Everything I own is olive. I think I'll give this away as well. This is a crop top from Shein. Like I understand the appeal of crop tops. Like I own a lot of crop tops, but like some of these things are just way too fucking short. I think I tried this on with a bra and my bra was literally hanging out at the bottom. And then if I don't wear a bra with it, then my boobs would be showing everywhere. Cute. I don't know. This still has a tag on it. I don't think I would wear this, to be honest. Don't know why I bought it. I think I bought it because it was on sale and I was doing a haul. I need to like stop doing haul videos because I feel like I just buy shit because I want to have like a big enough haul to post, but then I don't wear all the stuff. Another Shein crop top. I don't know why I thought I would get this in nude because I mean, I know I'm pretty white, but this is just like skin tone. And then I'll keep that other stuff. I don't want to go and do this closet. So here's what I've been bitching about. It's just all this shit on the floor. This has been here for probably a week. This is a box of skirts. I don't know. We're gonna go through this. This is from my last video. 
of recreating my childhood outfits. I'm gonna keep that skirt because I like it. This is a cardigan. We'll keep. These are a piece that Love Fool sent me. I wore in my last video. It's just black skort. If you're plus size looking for one, keep. Another piece from the hobby, Nasty Girl collab. I hate this. It doesn't fit either. It's way too big. This is cutesy. I don't I don't really wear it, but I want it still. Black slip skirt. Want. It's cute. I need to wear it more. I need to get more pant hangers so I can start wearing this shit because I just forget what's ever in this bin. Here is a mini skirt. I don't know. I just don't fuck with mini skirts, okay? I just don't like my ass hanging out. Give away. Here's another one. Give away. See, I like the color of this. I thrifted this. It's from Torrid, but it's high low and it's just not very appealing. And then here's this mini skirt. It's actually from Walmart. I posted this on TikTok as well. And I feel like I need more pant hangers, but where the fuck do you buy them? Like, I feel like the only pant hangers I have are from like pants that I bought from a store. Like the only hangers I can get are like shirt hangers. <laughs> I don't know, man. Now we have, there's a little ledge here and there's clothes hanging underneath it, but here's my little pile of denim. Obviously I don't wear denim very often. Eh, I cut these into shorts, fugly. I have warm this year. Oh, I thrifted these and I cut them. I'm gonna wear these still. These are skinny jeans. Skinny jeans are kind of out, but I'm gonna keep them. These are skinny jeans. I got these from Boho. I did a video in them and I really like them. I think they fit amazingly, but these fucking rips are so high up that you can literally see my underwear when I wear them. And it's like I don't mind, but it's just like my underwear doesn't always go with my outfit. I wonder if I can like DIY, do some patchwork. Next we got some pants. I wear these so much. These are some like flowy hippie pants from Walmart. The brand is Terra Sky. It's the plus size brand that they have at Walmart. I were wearing these green pants before. They're like kind of a linen-y. I've thrifted them and they're old navy extra large, but I don't know. It's like, why do I need the same kind of pant? It's just in two different fabrics. Same pants, but in black. Then I have these I'm gonna keep. Here's these plaid pants. See, I really love this yellow flannel or plaid, but they are like paper bag waist. So it's just like kind of weird. Maybe I could like cut it. DIY pile, cheetah pants. See, I like these, but I just feel like it's too saturated of a color. And I'm just very, very particular. I have these cheetah pants as well. These are old as fuck. I think I've had them. Well, I guess not really that old. I've had them for like three or four years now. They're from Boho and I just love them. I feel like they're just a better leopard or cheetah print pant than these, but these are like a really nice quality. I'm just gonna keep them both, okay? Shut up. These are zebra pants from Shein. No, I haven't worn them. This is making me feel like a fucking asshole from shopping at Shein because I do have a lot of stuff from Shein that I wear a lot, but I just feel like I'm giving a lot of it away. And these are pants from Shein as well. They're just plain black. I mean, there's really nothing to them. I keep them, I guess. Back here is some sweaters, something I DIY'd, a mental health sweater, and some tank tops. I need to hang these because I didn't even know I fucking had them back here. This is the dungeon. So I live in an apartment, but it used to be a house and they like cut it into a bunch of apartments. And I think where I'm living is supposed to be the fucking attic because the walls are so awful. Like they're all like super slanted and like make no sense. So my landlord put in this makeshift closet and all these racks and it's just horrendous. I mean, like you have all these clothes here, but then there's a the clothing rack down here and I can't even see like what the fuck's back here. So I usually just keep coats down here in the section just because I'm not reaching for a coat that often, especially because it's summer. But I also have some cardigans down here, but it's summer, so it's okay. This is brand new. Got this from Old Navy. I love, I'm kind of a jean jacket hoarder. You'll be seeing that very shortly. I don't think I could see my myself giving away anything from the section. Here's this, um, I thrifted it, but it literally like has no string, so I can't even wear it. I was thinking I'd wear it as a kimono, but it's just like not gonna work, okay? Cardigan, keep, keep, sweater, forgot I had. Okay, I haven't worn this in a while. It's kinda ugly. I don't know, I really, it's like nice though. It's really thick, has some pockets, has a hood. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it, okay? I lied. You can never have enough cardigans, okay ladies? 
I thrifted this because I was going to move to Chicago, but then my boyfriend got a really amazing job, so I'll be staying in town. So I just thrifted this Chicago Cubs hoodie because, you know, I thought it'd be cute to wear to a game, but probably won't be going to one, and I'm not that big of a sports fan. I just fuck with the Cubs because my family fucks with the Cubs, okay? Here's this cardigan that I've never worn. It's just another, like, very saturated color. I don't really like very saturated colors. And this is where the jean jackets begin. Here's this vest. I should bring this out. I need to DIY them. This is a winter coat from Fashion Nova. We love, I've worn this a fuck ton. This is a band denim jacket that I DIY'd when I was in high school. I just dressed the fuck out of it. And on the back, I have some band patches of bands that I like and I listen to. I should probably rip off this whole one. I don't fuck with Courtney Love. It's an amazing piece. Like, I don't want to give it away. I don't wear it, but I'm thinking this will be another souvenir I give to my children. Oh, I thought I gave this away. This is a denim shirt. I need this out, actually. Now, this was my staple denim jacket in high school. And even for a couple years in college, this is a Calvin Klein jean jacket that I thrifted. I have makeup all over it because I've worn it so many times and never washed it. Just have all these patches. And then on the back, we have this as well. Just such a cutesy moment. Love her. And I have some, a couple other winter jackets that I have back there that I'm gonna keep. While we're on this section, I guess we can move to this one right here since they're very intertwined. I'm gonna keep this, brand new from a video. You're seeing like way too much closet door right here. Wear that, wear that. Thrifted this and have not worn it. Yeah, maybe I should just give that back to the thrift store. Here's this velvet I thrifted and never wore. I'll give that back to the thrift store. A huge men's white button up that I was going to wear with the sweater vest trend, but never wore. Top that I got from a boho haul like in March. You know, I could wear this. I just, I literally never leave my house, so I don't fucking wear any of these clothes. Yeah, I need that for winter. I could never see myself for wearing this. I hate this color of nude. It's just, I don't want it, okay? I just don't. I don't need to explain that to you. <laughs> keep, keep, keep. I thrifted this as well. It's awful. Um, I guess that's really it for the section I wear pretty much all of it. Hang this boinch back up. And now for the shoes. I don't really, I'm not a big shoe buyer. Like I know people are like really big sneaker heads or people like collect Doc Martens and I just don't do that. Like I don't really care about shoes that much. There is a little section way back here that I have my shoes that I don't wear all the time. Here are my Mary Jane Doc Martens. I just bought these for like $10 at Kohl's. They're just some little booties. I don't think I'm gonna be giving away any shoes. Some high heel clogs, love them. See, it's like, I should put a safe back here because no one would be able to find it. But um, here are these boots from Dolls Kill. I actually broke my wrist wearing these, fun fact. A pair of heels down there, these white cowboy boots. I've worn these a handful of times. I don't know where they're from. I bought them from someone's story on Instagram. They're the only brown shoe I have, actually. <laughs> I fucking forgot I bought these, so I rewarded myself when I reached, or when I was approved for monetization, and they don't fit, well, they fit my feet. They just are too small on my calf. And I love these shoes. I think they're amazing, but they don't fit me and they were over a hundred dollars. So I should probably sell them. Here are some fake Doc Martens I bought from Wish or something. These Docs don't even come in this color. Like they are only supposed to be in black, but I wanted red shoes and I like the style. So, and, but they're actually like way too small for me and they don't fit. So I should give them away. See, I would sell them, but they're fake. So it's not cool. I bought these knee high boots and I was like, you know, I just need them. You know, every girl has a pair of thigh high high heel boots. I thought I needed them, but I don't wear them. Maybe I will in the fall. I'll keep them. Here are my babies. These are my my Sinclair Doc Martens, love them with all my life. These are knockoff Air Force Ones from Walmart. Wear them a handful of times, they're pretty comfy though. I should wear more. And these are some Adidas things that I bought from Plato's Closet. Don't wear them that often though, but I like wearing them when I go to the pond and walk around with my dog. And these shoes that we were talking about earlier. I forgot to show these Doc Martens. Um, I got these from ASOS. 
last Actually, I think I've had these for two years. They're just the vegan leather sandals. My Sinclairs are vegan too. By vegan leather, it feels literally the same as real leather. And you won't kill any animals. So I have all of this shit, but it's just clean laundry, so I know I want and wear all these things. So I'm just gonna put it in my closet and actually take care of it.
well I think I pretty much did everything that I can I haven't really ate today so I'm just physically exhausted for from taking on such a huge activity today so if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe um, I'll be donating all these clothes to a local thrift store. If I did have enough patience, I would love to put on Depop and Poshmark to see if you guys want anything, but I hate listing shit. It's horrible, but peace!